Welcome to Chamonix in the French Alps. It lies at the foot of Mont Blanc, Europe's highest peak at 4,800 meters high. People have been coming here for centuries, taking home images of snow-crusted peaks, visions of stability as old as the hills. But these landscapes are changing and changing fast. I first came to the Alps and Chamonix to climb as a teenager in the late 1970s. And these landscapes have inspired me to spend a career studying mountain tectonics. And I've come back here now to see how the glaciers have changed. This is summer 2022 and glacier melting in the Alps is hitting the headlines. High temperatures have increased the risk of rockfall to such an extent that the main routes up Mont Blanc have been closed to climbers. It's just too dangerous. It doesn't look too bad on the summit slopes. The signs of instability are to be found in the glaciers that flow from the heights. So this year I've been exploring the great glaciers of Mont Blanc, such an important part of my early mountain experience. And they're key markers of environmental degradation as the climate heats remorselessly year on year. Not only can I refer back to my own experience and photographs over four or five decades, we can also use historical records to track the changes of the glaciers. And it's a deeply troubling story. Right, I'm going to go into the office, the Haute Montagne, in that building there, and there's a great 3D model that shows the extent of the glaciers back in the 1940s. So let's go in there and have a look. This model was handcrafted from air photographs flown in 1942 with the landscapes, including glaciers and ice caps, carefully traced out. The only changes added are the paths of modern ski lifts tracked by woolen springs. Just look at these hills, which rise to just under 3,000 metres, with the mountain quarries containing lots of little glaciers. And these are the quarries today, 80 years later. Bare rock with just a few snow patches. Is this the future for the Mont Blanc range? Let's see what's happening over there. And the strain gauge for environmental change has become the Mer de Glace, the sea of ice flowing from the heart of the Mont Blanc mountains. The changing ice levels in this glacier are being actively monitored by teams of glaciologists. But 200 years ago, the glacier flowed all the way into the Chamonix Valley. And the history of the deglaciation of the Mer de Glace is captured in this fantastic book. So there are these historical pictures of the extent of the Mer de Glace coming right down into the Chamonix Valley in the early part of the 19th century. So let's take the mountain railway up to Montanvert and get a view down into the Mer de Glace. The Montanvert Mountain Railway opened 
in 1909. But since the 1950s, it's been an electric affair. Ferrying tens of thousands of tourists each year up to a viewpoint overlooking the Mer de Glace. Well, that's the Mer de Glace. What little's left of it. Shrunk right down. Okay, the sides are covered by moraine. But I skied down that in the early 80s, and I'm sure the ice level was up, covering a lot of the light-coloured rocks in here. There was neve coming down from the hills out on the right there. And you could ski on clean ice and snow all the way down through here. And the glacier in the meantime, over the last 40 odd years has shrunk right down in a few years time there won't be any ice down here at all and the glacier will have retreated right up back there towards the Grand Jurasse and the giant ice falls which are just around the corner so wow really shrinking ice and shrinking glaciers Well, if you look down the valley, it's looking even worse, isn't it? With all that exposed moraine plastered on the side, glasses receded right down. Unlike now, when I first came here in the late 1970s, a short ladder provided access onto the glacier. And when tourists first came 200 years ago and more, they could walk right out onto the ice. Some 50 years ago, you could more or less walk out onto the glacier. But in the mid 1980s, a cable car was put in to allow tourists to access the glacier. And that's now scheduled to be dismantled because the glacier level has fallen another 200 meters. A new facility, lift and visitor center, including environmental interpretation, is scheduled to open in the mid 2020s. But melting continues. Each year, the Mer de Glace is receding back up its valley by over 30 metres. And each year, its level is dropping down 5 to 8 metres. That's staggering. But what of the other glaciers of Mont Blanc? Just along the Chamonix Valley, is the Bossons Glacier. It flows straight down from the summit slopes of Mont Blanc. When I first came here to Chamonix in the late 1970s, on days like this, when the hills were covered in cloud, I, with some friends, would go and play on that glacier down there, honing our ice climbing techniques. But the place we did it was right down there, where you could see the stream that runs out from the glacier disappearing behind that moraine, or tree-covered moraine area. So just look how far back the glaciers retreated in the last 40, 45 years. We can see what's been happening by looking at some classic mapping from the early 20th century. So here in the woods opposite the Bossons Glacier is the memorial to Henri Vallot. And Vallot meticulously traced out the glacier extents. This is his map from 1907. So let's compare the modern map from 2022 with what Vallow mapped a century earlier. The glaciers are in blue, so much larger than now. 
so modern maps are a snapshot of the retreating ice. Now let's continue our tour by moving along from the Bossons and the Mer Glass to other glaciers flowing down towards the Chamonix Valley. Next up is the Argentier Glacier, named after the village that lies at its foot, or at least used to. Well, I'm just above the village of Argentier, up valley from Chamonix. And what we can do is use a modern view and tie it back to a painting from a couple of centuries ago and see how things have changed. Viewpoints up here. There's much more vegetation these days and obviously more buildings, but we'll see what we can manage. So this painting is by the Alpine artist Link from around 1800, at the end of the so-called Little Ice Age. At the back is the Bossons Glacier and the Argentier Glacier in front, advancing towards the village church. Well, down there, just poking over the trees, you can just make out the spire of the church of Argentier. But the glacier for the painting, well, that's long gone. Indeed, from the village today, the glacier is hidden. So let's go up there and find it. Well, let's check out the Argentier Glacier. But the path ends not on ice. but a, a deep gorge. Let's look at the Vallo map. A hundred years ago, the path used to lead straight onto the ice. Now the glacier has melted away, leaving this deep cut ravine. And the last remnants of ice buried under a blanket of boulders. So let's continue up the valley to find the glacier. Well, that's the upper part of the Argentier Glacier, going right up to the back there towards the peak at the back, which is Mont Dolon. It looks fairly healthy, doesn't it, in terms of how much ice there is still up here. But if we look over onto this side over here, you can see how much it's dropped down and retreated and shrunk back down from exposing that cliff of scree and moraine over on the other side and the bare rock. So in the last few decades, all that ice volume has gone as the glaciers shrunk away and moved off and melted down into the valley. So these glaciers are shrinking and shrinking fast. And the rocky rubble that concentrates on the surface of the ice is speeding the melting up. Its dark cover intensifies the summer warmth. Once a bright white river of ice and snow remained throughout the summer.
course, sceptics might say that all these shrinking glaciers are simply a hangover from the end of the so-called Little Ice Age. And you can be misled by comparing simply back to the paintings from the 18th and 19th century. So let's concentrate now on what's been happening in the 21st century. And we can go up to the Tour Glacier, further along from Argentier. OK, in the 19th century, the glacier extended all the way down into the valley. And now that part is gone. But let's go up and see what's been happening for the past 10 or 20 years. This path leads up to the Albert Premier Hut, a climbing refuge much used by mountaineers. So those nasty looking seracs, the ice falls, that's the front of La Tour Glacier, high up in its quarry. Well, just a few decades ago, that glacier extended all across those slabs where the torrent is running, all the way down, all the way down, right down to there. So the glacier's retreated way back into its upper quarry. And we could check that out by time lapse on Google Earth. In 2004, it still covered most of the rocky slabs. By moving forward in time, more and more rock is seen to be exposed from under the ice. Two thousand fifteen is the most recent image. So now let's just trace on the ice front in its retreat over just eleven years. And now on, in 2022, the ice front is back here. So this is what's been lost over the past few years. The Tour Glacier may show what's in store for other Alpine glaciers as they retreat back into their upper corries, getting thinner and shrinking away, leaving bare hillsides. Less ice means more instability and more rockfall, and the rate of melting is accelerating. You can almost see it happening in front of your eyes. <laughs> 